Okay, I'm going to show you how to build a Google Docs spreadsheet to manage real estate transactions. This is for uh, real estate agents or realtors. First thing, if you notice, you have to be in your Gmail account. Uh, this is the Gmail account for my company, TransTrack Systems. Uh, and you'll go up to the right where there is a tic-tac-toe set of squares. When you click on that, look for documents or specifically what we want is sheets. Click on sheets and it'll give you a list of sheets that are available that you've already created. Since uh, we're going to create one, I'm going to go to the bottom here where there's a plus button and create a new spreadsheet. That immediately comes up with a spreadsheet from which you want to work. First thing you want to name the spreadsheet, click on the name, change it from untitled to spreadsheet to transactions and hit OK. Then what is it you want on the spreadsheet? Well the first thing is going to be the property address. So you type that in there, hit tab, go to column B and you're going to want your client names. Now, once you take a listing, what are the tasks that you need to keep track of? Uh, the first thing you want to know is what the list price is, uh, you know, the list date. The um, next thing, well, let me take a look. I'll show you. I've already created this in another document. I'm going to click on my TransTrack template uh, and go to transactions at the bottom. And you'll notice I've got property address, client name, list price, sold price, list date, expiration date, uh, etc. So I'm going to put in there list date, expire date. Uh, and then what are the other tasks that you are going to need to do? Put a assign install. You want to put a lockbox on it. Uh, you're probably going to do some flyers for the yard sign or uh, distribution. You're going to, uh, you know, run an ad, do an open house. Uh, when it sells, you're going to uh, have to open escrow uh, and then schedule, uh, you know, s the buyer to sign. And then you need to get the seller to sign, etc. There's a whole bunch of different tasks. Now, as you notice, as we move to the right, I can add more and more tasks onto the steps, but I'm just going to show you how it's done. Um, go up here, you'll grab that gray, Your hand, the uh, pointer will turn to a hand. Pull that over beyond property address or beyond client name. When you do that and you scroll across the bottom, uh, those will stay in position, the property address and the client name. And the same, if I grab that and bring it down below then there, you're going to have the property address and I can scroll up. You can see the numbers on the left-hand side. As I roll up and down, the headers stay the same. So once you get a listing, you'll put in the address, one. Oop. let's say in row two, one, two, three, Main Street. And the seller is Jane dough, uh, etc. So you're going to be filling in those steps as you go. Um, that's the main spreadsheet. Now once you've got the spreadsheet set up, you want to click up here on the top right, share. If I'm a listing agent, I go out in the, uh, on a listing appointment, I can enter this on my cell phone or tablet and then uh, it, it'll already be shared. And since I click on share, I can type in the assistant email address assistant at TransTrack systems and click on the button which says send uh, I'm gonna cancel that right now this way when I enter the address from the field the uh, client or assistant in the office will be able to uh, get the information and know that there are things that need to be done right away 
Uh, if you just continue with this, you'll be able to build a, uh, a document spreadsheet or task spreadsheet that you can then share with the assistant and become more efficient in your business. Uh, it will take some time uh, or uh, you can actually get my template, which will include 31 steps. As you see here, this is the template. I've already created the 31 steps from the time you list till you close a property. Uh, and also, if you notice at the bot, the properties are in rows two, three, four, five. I've created tabs at the bottom, two, and that gives you all the details for the uh, property transaction for if you need to make contact, phone numbers, appointments, etc. All the contact information can be stored there. Now to do that in yours, uh, you simply go to the bottom, you'll see a plus, add a sheet, and there's a sheet two, and you can actually select to rename it and just say listing number one or I simply have on mine a number two which will then correspond to the row two in on the original sheet so if I'm looking at one two three main street I'll be able to go into number two uh, and get the details for that um, anyway hope that you find this uh, helpful if you uh, want to build your own it's free as long as you have a uh, Google Docs uh, or Gmail uh, account uh, or if you uh, want to also get it for a discounted price uh, you can go to udemy.com TransTrack system uh, I teach this class uh, here it is and you'll, there'll be a discount code. Uh, temporarily, it'll be uh, a free, so you don't have to pay for it. You'll be able to, in step number, like section two or section one, how to download, share, and, and save the TransTrack template. I'll, you'll actually get my template uh, when you take this class. It'll either be free if you do it soon, or you, I'll include a, a discount coupon on this video at the bottom uh, so you can get something off of the $49. Have a great day.